What's up guys, this is Kevin with Belcher Apartments. Um, a little training video on how to test a, uh, a transformer. Um, I have this transformer outside, um, just a spare one that I have. Uh, usually they'll be hooked up inside your air handler. Um, a little, just a little bit easier to, to kind of show you guys uh, how, to, how to test out here. Um, now there is a couple ways to test um, from being live to versus not being live like we have right now. Uh, so you just need your meter, uh, a, a transformer, and we can get started. Um, so what I've done already is um, I hooked up my common and my black wire, which is, if you read, um, your common is uh, your white, your black is your 120, your orange is your 240, your red is your 208, and your blue and yellow is your, uh, your 24 volt, your low voltage. Um, we don't use 208, so I kind of just put a loop in it to let me know I don't need it. Um, so you can put your uh, your meter to um, resistance, and then you can start from your common and then work your way down. Uh, so I have common and uh, 120, and I have 19.5 uh, of a resistance. Now when I go from um, my 240 to from common, I'll get a little bit higher number. The uh, higher the voltage is, the higher of the number that of resistance you'll have. So I got 63 right there. So we'll go to our 208. See there, we're down to 51. So once we verify that is good to go, if you have like an op uh, open line, that'll let you know that something um, in the winding is not is no longer good. Um, so we're going to do the same thing on your 24 volt. Now, usually you'll get a 1.4, 1 1.5. 1 um, it might drop down a little bit. This lets us know that it's, that it's going good. Now, if you test and you have, again, let's say you have it hooked up and it's open line, that means that, uh, it's no longer good. There's the, this transformer is no longer good. You have a short within a 24 volt. Now, if you have it live, um, what you, how you can test is make sure you have your voltage going through your uh, your 240. Um, if you have voltage coming through, and then you test out your 24 volt, and if it's uh, if you don't have 24 volt, that means that you have a low voltage short. Uh, it's no longer good. Um, if you don't have uh, power on the top end. Um, then you may want to trace it back to your um, to your breaker um, or another yeah to your breaker um, before you if you ever have to um, replace because of a 24 volt issue then you may want to check out um, before you go putting one in and, and turn the power on uh, you know see if you have a short somewhere um, in another area maybe a contactor or um, some other type of relay, fan relay or whatever. Um, you also can put a inline fuse. Um, so that way if anything shorts out, it'll blow the fuse versus your transformer. So hopefully this video was helpful. Um, so next time, thank you.